Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've got a Divi gallery here and we're going to create this effect when you hover over. It's going to zoom in and contain that image there. Of course you've still got the light box feature. And somebody asked if we could do this for them. Really easy to do. We've got to do a tiny bit of coding for this today. But don't let that put you off. Any code I write, I'll put down below the video and you're welcome to use it. Okay, well the first thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder so we can build this. And let's go to my customizer. I'm just going to delete the code that I wrote for that just now. Okay, and if I go down here, I've got a section, the blue tab with a row, with a single column, the green tab right there. I've just got a gallery module in here. I'm going to delete this and we'll start from scratch. Okay, so inside my column in my row here, I'm going to hit the little black button to add a Divi gallery module. If we roll down a bit. All these modules come as standard with the Divi theme itself. Let's hit the gallery. It's going to prompt us to add some gallery items. I'm going to select all of these. To select all a bunch in a row, just simply hold your finger on the shift after you've selected the first one, select the last one in the row, and it'll select all of them in between. Okay, I'm going to load those. And like any other gallery, if you don't like something, there's a little trash can there. If you want to move it somewhere else, you just simply left click and drag it and drop it where you want to put it. As you can see, if I move this over here, we've got our items, we've got a title there. So image order I'm going to leave as default. I've got 12 of them in there, so I'm going to set this to 12. I don't want any pagination and I don't want any titles. So in elements underneath, I'm going to turn show title and caption off. And I'm going to do similar for pagination because we've got nothing to go to anyway. Okay, and when I hover over, I don't want to see any white overlay because we're going to zoom that image in. So I'm going to get rid of that overlay and perhaps turn the little icon white if you want an icon. So to do that, let's go over to our design tab. Here's overlay, second one there. I'm going to make that icon white in color and overlay background color I'm going to make that transparent so all we should see is the icon there and there's plenty of icons to choose from they've just integrated font awesome into it so it's got a great selection I'm just going to put in I let's put an eyeball in there there we go that works fine for me great well I'm going to leave that right there and here's where we're going to do the bit of coding I'm going to save my changes. I'm going to save the page changes. Now today I'm going to do this in my customizer so we can see what I'm actually doing here in the additional CSS panel. If you don't know how to get there go down to your dashboard, go down to appearance and customize. But you can also do this on the page by copying the code and putting it in the Divi theme options They've got a code box at the bottom of the general tab on the first page. But so we can see what's going on, I'm using the customizer. So once you click on customizer, it'll take you to this page right here. At the bottom, you'll find the additional CSS panel. Now I've made the page we're working on my home page so it shows up here. And if you need to do that, home page is just above. Save your page or publish your page and make it the home page there. Then we can go back and add our code here. Okay, it's always a great idea when you're coding to give things a title. So to add a title, it's forward slash star star forward slash. In between, anything you write will not be read as code, so it's a great place for titles. So we can say gallery. Zoom. So I'm going to publish this and refresh the page. What we're going to do. I'm going to give this gallery 
a CSS class of its own so we can target it just it with our CSS today so I've still got the visual builder so let's go into the gallery I want to go over to the advanced CSS ID and classes at the top there give it whatever class name you want it wants to be unique though and it's a good idea if it means something to you so I'm going to call one gal for gallery zoom gal zoom great save this save our page changes here now we can exit Okay, let's go back to our customizer. We'll make sure we've got this page refreshed so we've got the current version in there. And let's go into our additional CSS panel again. Okay, I'm going to right click and select one of our images here. Here's the inspect. Okay, let's take this straight to one of these images. If we look up here a little further up here here's the class we gave it gal zoom so we can start by and it's a class so it needs a dot or a period in front of it then the class name now I want to target the image just the image the IMG that we were on just there so I'm gonna say gal zoom image IMG and I want it to only happen when I hover over it. So after the G, no gap, I'm going to put a colon and the word hover. We've now created a hover state that we can affect separately from when the mouse is not on it. Let's open and close some curly brackets. What do I want it to do? Well, I want it to sort of get bigger by about twice the size. So over here, I'm going to use some transform scale transform colon scale open some round brackets there and you can either do two separate measurements for width and height if you want to I want the aspect to stay the same so I'm going to leave it at two so it's going to jump to twice as big when we hover over it let's put a semicolon after that and as you can see it's jumping to twice the size when we hover over it but of course it's jumping all over the page here we don't want that we don't want it to be outside of its little box when it does that so if I roll down here you can see it highlighting things as I roll down this is a gallery item right there ETPB gallery item if I double left click on that it'll highlight it and I can copy it again that's the class name ETPB gallery item where there's a gap that's a new class after it where there's a gap that's a new class after it so I'm going to copy that I'm going to paste it in here it's a class name again so it has a dot or a period in front but just in case I've got other galleries I don't want to affect all of them so I'm going to put our custom CSS class name for our whole gallery this particular gallery in front of it so I'm going to copy it from the top there put it in front there so we've got dot gal zoom dot etpb gallery item now we can open and close some curly brackets here and tell it to hide the overflow by saying overflow colon hidden semicolon as you can see it's now doing it but it's staying inside the actual image container itself which is exactly what we want but it's doing it instantly as soon as I hover over it it's doing it almost instantaneously so I like to slow it down for a bit of grace and drama. So to do that, let's use a bit of transition duration. So the zoom itself is happening on the image up here. So I'm going to copy this whole thing. I'm going to drop down one. I don't want the hover state, so I can take away that colon and the word hover. And those images will get big briefly. As you can see, they've scaled up there. Don't need this line. I'm going to replace that line with transition duration. I'm going to make it pretty slow. So I'm going to say transition. It's pumped to us down here. I can just pop that in. 
put a colon in there. How long do I want? Well, I'm going to make it real slow, so I'm going to say 1.2 seconds. Obviously, you make yours how quick or slow you want. 1.2s. Now, when I hover over, it's nice and graceful. And I quite like that. Great. Well, let's publish our changes. And if we've done everything correctly, this should be working for us now. I'm going to go and refresh this page. There's our gallery. There's our little hover effect working. And we can click on an item. And we've still got the light box going on here. And that's a nice little effect to have on your website. So as I said before, the codes are all down below the video. You're welcome to use it how you wish. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.